OpenAI's GPT store is now live. So you can go ahead and head over to chat.openai.com slash GPTs to check out all of the different GPTs that individuals have been creating over the past couple months. If you're not familiar with GPTs, essentially what they are are a custom version of ChatGPT. You're able to either augment it with your own knowledge base. You can upload a ton of different documents or large documents into this custom GPT to enrich that custom GPT's experience. Or you can go ahead and set up what are known as GPT actions, where you can interact with third-party APIs. Maybe you want to have something that actually does something or creates something or retrieves data from a third-party API. You can do that with the GPT actions within the custom GPTs. This is what the interface looks like. There's all of these different categories here. And then there is the ability to search for GPTs as well. From what I understand, they're going to be organizing these different sections based on the popularity of all of the different custom GPTs within all of them. The other thing to note with the GPT store, I think a lot of people are going to be wondering about is the revenue sharing. As of right now, that isn't live, but it is coming this quarter for US builders. The rest of the world isn't going to be paid out right away on the user engagement of their GPT, but hopefully that will be coming in I'm guessing here, but maybe Q2 or Q3 of this year. I think there are gonna be a ton of people across the world that are going to be interested in building these things and creating useful GPTs for others. Hopefully we see that roll out later this year as well. Also alongside with the GPT store today, they announced chat GPT for teams. If you are a company and you're looking to have different users, within creating these custom GPTs, you can do that. But there's also some added benefits as well to the team membership, things like higher limits for using GPT-4 and Dolly, and also higher context windows. Potentially a good offering for a number of individuals. From what I read though, you do need to have at least two paying users, and it's going to be whether it's monthly or annual to determine on whether it's 25 or that $30 price per month. If we just head back to the GPTs interface here, if I just click one of these GPTs here, if I just click the web and I'll click one of these examples here, depending on the GPT that you select, there's going to be two different things that you're going to notice off the bat. Some of the custom GPTs are going to respond right away back to you seemingly instantaneously like you would with chat GPT. If that is what's happening, likely what the case is, is that is going to have the custom knowledge base that it's leveraging. Now, if you see that little purple circle here and check mark, that's going to be where it's reaching out for those external APIs. It might be making an action or requesting data or doing something else. There could be something where it's actually building something for you or doing something completely novel on the back end. That could take a little bit of time. That's one thing to consider is with the GPT actions, there is going to be a little bit of latency because there are a handful of steps that need to occur for the GPT to parse your message message and then extract and send out what's necessary to the function calls that are occurring potentially on the back end of an application. That's just sort of an aside, but I'd encourage you take a look at all of the different GPTs. I'd really encourage you, if you don't mind, leave a comment within the video here. Let me know the GPTs that you find that are useful. All of these things are obviously brand new to all of us, and I'm just sort of curious what is out there and what other individuals are finding useful full on the platform. Finally, if you are interested in building out some of the more technical portions of custom GPTs that you can put on the GPT store, I'm going to put a few links within the description of the video to my different videos on how you can set up something like a custom knowledge base by scraping a particular website or how to actually set up those GPT actions or to create something like a proxy server. I'll leave all of those in the description of the video, but I just wanted to keep this pretty high level for this video. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and otherwise, until the next one.